एवरीवन दिस इज रितिका और ये फ्रॉम मैनेजमेंट प्लेस वी विल स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन टू एजाइल कोचिंग फॉलोड बाय हु इज एन एजाइल कोच वाइटल स्किल्स ऑफ एन एजाइल कोच हाउ एजाइल कोचेज शुड ड्राइव वन टू वन कॉन्वर्सेश एंड वॉट डज एन एजाइल कोच टू सो लेट्स गेट गोइंग एंड स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन टू एजाइल कोचिंग एजाइल कोचिंग लेट एस सी what agile and coaching means separately to understand the term agile coaching agile is a philosophy to follow for continuous improvement agile is an approach in which teams work iteratively to deliver faster valued high quality products to their customers agility brings people to come to a common understanding and coaching is a process where an experienced person helps individuals improve their performance and evolve continuously then what is agile coaching agile coaching is a process to help people and organizations rise from where they are now to where they want to be agile coaching is the art of conversing with the coaching client and guiding them with different perspectives by sharing experiences based on what you learned from others and who you are with that let's move on to who is an agile coach agile coaches are agile experts who help people teams and organizations perform better and grow an agile coach sometimes needs to wear the teacher's hat and sometimes be a mentor to help organizations and people know what agile is and adopt it an agile coach acts as a facilitator in an organization's agile journey by helping people identify issues and solve their problems now let's discuss skills an agile coach must have vital skills of an agile coach effective skills for agile coaches to focus on are agile expert as an agile coach one should understand different agile methodologies like kanban scrum scaled agile framework safe lean etc they should have good experience working in agile and identify how and where to implement them good listener an agile coach needs to be a good listener listening is one of the vital skills any coach should have imagine talking to a person who is busy looking at something else how would this make you feel not good right you may also feel disrespected or neglected agile coaches should provide their complete attention by listening to their coach's problems apart from giving attention by listening they should grasp all conversation details and process them as an agile coach one should listen to what other person is saying and understand unsaid words as well by noticing their behavior changes body language changes and change in facial expressions empathetic understanding feelings is again a fundamental skill for an agile coach they should be able to borrow the shoes of their coaching clients understand what they are going through and then return those shoes without getting attached to the problem or situation team builder as an agile coach one should build trust within the teams also agile coach needs to learn how to rebuild the broken trust A fundamental factor in building trust is avoiding emotional theories and sticking to facts. An agile coach should bring vulnerability to the team to make them learn how to trust each other. The team should share all kinds of information and problems with each other. Similarly, the coaching conversations should reflect trust as well. Self-manage. Self-management is not just for an agile coach, but for everyone so that they can fill an environment with harmony handling emotions is required when it comes to helping the teams as an agile coach or coaching one to one catalyst during change an agile coach should enable organizations teams and people to bring the best in them and facilitate essential changes an agile coach should be the one who speeds up the changes and thus improves organizations team and people to perform better agile coaches don't get involved in the change impeccable trainer again one of the very basic skills an agile coach requires is to know how to conduct good trainings impacting people keep a few things in mind before imparting training time management in trainings time should be well managed 
start on time and try to complete the selected topics on time. Content Good and relevant content is always valued. The training content should be within the scope of the training. Adding lots of visuals and examples in the content makes the trainings exciting and participants feel well connected. Use metaphors The trainer can use metaphors to help the participants better understand as they add life to words and vivid imagination to the subject. Add humor Many trainers add humor while training as this does not let the participants feel bored. It helps the people feel energized. Adding humor also allows the trainer to create a bond with the audience. Activities Adding a lot of activities helps the participants grasp the concept and at the same time keeps them entertained and engaged. Adding activities provides participants with an immersive experience. Now let's move ahead and see how agile coaches should drive one-to-one -one conversations. The job of an agile coach is to help each member perform at their best and take steps forward in their agile journey. Therefore, often people come to agile coaches to discuss a problem or an agile coach may also approach a member if they see an issue. Note that the problem and the solution should come from the coaching client in such conversations. Let us see what might help to drive meaningful and fruitful conversations. For one-to-one -one conversations, comfort. Make the coaching client comfortable by greeting them. Trust. Make sure that they are at ease and trust you. Listen. Listen to the coaching client patiently and with mindfulness. Notes. Ask them to take notes of their takeaways. No biases. Discuss the problem without any biases. Accountable. Make your coaching client accountable for next conscious actions and get clarity on timelines. Conclude. Conclude the conversation before closing it. Confidential. Conversations should be highly confidential, that is, what happens in conversation remains only with the coach and the coaching client. With that, let's see what does an agile coach do. Well, there are no hard and fast duties defined for an agile coach and of course, they vary from one organization to another. But let's peek into a few basic ones. Teaching teams An agile coach teaches agile principles and helps team implement agile frameworks like Scrum, Kanban, Safe, etc. Agile coaches guide the emerging teams in their agile path. Imparting trainings Everyone looks upon an agile coach as role model. An agile coach trains the team to become independent so that the organizations can move from where they are now to where they want to reach. Agile coaches also play an essential role in training the leaders such as managers, scrum masters, other executives on agility. Change facilitator Circumstances change as the organization's project and people progress. Agile coaches help support change process or may even lead the change process. Key weapons to use while facilitating changes are Identify the need for the change. Find the root cause of why this change is required. Identify your support system. Strengthen yourself by knowing who all can be the first ones to help you. Find the pros and cons of the change and guide the teams with that knowledge. Brainstorm ideas with the team. Address the constraints with the team. Other things that fall under an agile coach's plate are Leveraging conflicts Conflicts are inevitable in agile teams because of people from different backgrounds. Conflicts should be encouraged so that different perspectives come to light. As an agile coach, one should improve a team's performance by using the conflicts constructively. An agile coach should infer the level of conflict and help the team face it. An agile coach should not teach teams to avoid conflicts, rather coach them how to convert conflicts to constructive disagreements. Cultural Development An agile coach encourages cultural development in an organization. They promote a culture of openness and trust among each other. They add a flavor of vulnerability within a team not only in work but in their personal lives as well. Because this is a way that makes people within the teams share more and more 
most importantly makes them learn how to depend on each other such a culture builds excellent products and inspiring leaders with that we come to an end of this video to conclude i would say agile coach is someone who enables people to deliver best softwares and get best out of them if you like the video please press like for more and more such videos consider subscribing bye for now and thank you for watching